Low test proves that the crane can lift the rated capacity. It is required for all new cranes, also for the cranes which have had major parts replaced or altered, and periodically every five years. The low test is arranged with an independent third party company. They supply the required equipment accompanied by a technician who conducts the test. Over here we see the technician and crane operator preparing the water bag for a test. The bag is designed with a water release valve at the bottom. This feature allows dumping the water after the test is complete. In addition to water bag, the technician carries the rest of the tools in his case. He asks the crane operator for two shekels required to place load cell between the hook and the water bag. He kindly demonstrates the remote display which transmits the weight on the load cell in real time. Okay, so you have a reading from the cell over there. Okay. Cool. With Boson's help, the load cell is installed between the hook and the water bag. The legislation will prescribe the safety factors and test requirements for different crane types. Check your class society standards for lifting equipment testing. Okay. The weight of a headache ball positioned between two load cells will cause discrepancy between their readings. That is why you need to know the weight of that ball. You better test the valve before filling the bag. It would be awkward if you couldn't release the water afterward. The bag is positioned overside, where it can't damage anything in case the crane doesn't pass the test. My good bosun connects the hose from the closest hydrant and secures it to the bag. We wait while bag slowly fills with water until the target weight is reached. Weight is held for the required time span and compared to the crane's original load cell. Once we confirm the crane can hold the rated weight and the load cell is accurate, the test is complete. Dump the water, get the certificate and your crane is good to go.